Well, hey, what is up? It's Freed's first time. I'm Freed. Today, we are continuing our Kavalan rundown, and we are going into Soulist Realm. I've been looking forward to this. The day has come. Today, we're talking about the ex-bourbon, and in the future, I have the Fino Sherry, the Oloroso Sherry, and the Brandy Cask. So whichever one you want me to go to next, let me know in the comments, and I'll hop on to that. Um, so I'm looking forward to this a lot. Now, these are all... The Solus line is all single barrels. It's all barrel proof. And as you can see, I just have little samples here. And for some weird reason, all of my samples have been proofed to 54%. So that's not exactly barrel proof, but it also could be. So I don't know. So just take that with you know some salt uh, and just put that into your memory. Um, cool, yeah, so these, the X bourbon is First fill bourbon barrels. I couldn't find the distillery in the states where they come from. My guess, put a gun to my head, would be Maker's Mark. Now, normally they do an STR process with their barrels, which means which stands for shave, toast, and rechar. But they didn't do it with this, so they got their barrels from the states and just put the juice right in it. First fill. So that is pretty exciting as well. And let me think. 54% ABV, non-chill filtered, non-colored, no age statement. We've talked about this, subtropical climate, rapid aging, angel shares crazy, you get it. But on the whole, they range from like five to seven years old. If you had an actual bottle of it, like on the thumbnail, you can see the distillation date and the bottling date. And sometimes you can even see the time that the juice went into the bottle. Now that is some transparency. You can find out to the second how old your whiskey is. And I love that a lot. So, this is hot. I'm gonna put the rest of this in there just for the sake of it. There's not too much left. Drip, drip, drip. Okay. Mm-hmm. X bourbon. Yup. <laughs> That's X bourbon, all right. It smells like a bourbon. If you slid this over to me blind and asked me to guess what it was, I wouldn't even think it was anything. Uh, my brain would just be rolling through bourbon, the bourbon catalog that's in my brain. And uh, I wouldn't even think like, oh, this comes from a, an Asian country. No way, dude. It's beautiful though. Mm. So it, initially you get that wood spice, that caramel, that little bit of vanilla, but then it flows perfectly into like the Kavalan tropical fruit notes that you're just expecting to find in a Kavalan, Kavalan uh, whiskey, which is like a, like a mango, a pineapple. Uh, but they're all semi-sweet. They're not like super sweet or overly ripe this time. They've kind of been tamped down by the uh, bourbon barrel, in my opinion. But it's really good. I'm getting like a, like a river stone type of element, almost like a petrichor type thing. And like if you put a little drizzle of bourbon over some vanilla ice cream, if you haven't done that, then boy, you gotta do that. Nice. Oh, the, it's just a beautiful nose, dude. All these Kavalons are beautiful on the nose. Like, maybe they don't taste the best. And maybe it's timing, I don't know. But the noses are all just spectacular. And um, that's just my opinion, of course. You can come to your own. Lovely, lovely. Okay, well, I'm gonna go in. Gambe. Mmm. Dude. Sorry, I wear my heart on my sleeve. It's difficult to tell, uh, not difficult. Very easy to tell when I'm feeling certain emotions. I don't have that stoic face that some people have. Uh, it's quite easy to tell when I'm excited about something. And this is very exciting because it is delicious. 54%, absolutely perfect. It does come bourbon forward at the front, but then it just marries perfectly into those Kavalan notes that you're expecting to find, the, the fruitiness, the slightly dry, and it's fantastic. But it does, I would say it's more bourbon than anything else. I mean, it really is bourbon forward. It tastes so good. And it's like, there are some like tobacco elements to it as well. It's quite nice. Nice mouth feel, doesn't feel too thin. Mm. so good so perfect transition let's talk turkey 
The price back in the States is anywhere from 139 bucks to 350 bucks. And if you find it for $139, I would pick one up, because this is really tasty. Oh, it's like you could also find like a really fucking good bourbon for that amount of money as well. Um, so you kind of taking into the, the coolness value of it all, where you can slide this over to a person and be like, hey, here you go, try this out. This comes from Asia, believe it or not. It's, and that's, that's a cool element, element to it, for sure. Um, but if you like Kavalan juice and you find this for 139 bucks, yeah, pick it up, please. But 350, I'd have to do a few laps and think about it. And I probably wouldn't. Because that's a lot of money, man. 350? That's a lot of bread. Oh, God. Mm. I think I felt it move. All right, now, I have not tried this with water before, so this will be my first time, and I think it can handle it. I love the proof. A 54 is, is nice. I'm digging it, but I'm going to put that in there just for experimental purposes. <laughs> Don't think it'll hurt it. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's kind of chilled out that initial wood spice caramel bourbon notes that I mentioned before, and now the, the fruity Kavalan um, tropical elements are, are kind of coming to the forefront. Oh, yeah. A little papaya. Mango? Man! Whew, that's, that's really good. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Man, all right, that helped a lot, that was rad. Like, remember before when I mentioned that the, the bourbon was a bit, the bourbon elements to it all was a bit overpowering of the Kavalon fruity elements to it all? They've 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 gone down. The bourbon elements have gone. Bourbon elements have come down, and the Kavalon fruity tropical elements have gone up, and they're meeting perfectly in the middle, and they're just kicking it together perfectly. That was a good decision. Adding water, although without, perfectly good, perfectly good. But adding water kind of helped everything marry and uh, and blend together perfectly. Now to the music. Ooh, yeah, that's good. So, <laughs> my music pairing for this one is Ram Jam, Black Betty. That being because, A, it does fit. It, it fits really, really well. Having a glass of this with Black Betty playing, yeah, they go well together, very, very much so. And, but also, a friend brought, my friend Mondre brought it to my attention that he can't listen to Black Betty now without <laughs> putting Cavalan into it. I mean, let's, let's bear with me here. Ready? Cavalan. Cavalan. Hmm. See, Mondre, <laughs> you're hilarious. Thanks, man. I appreciate your 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 assistance there with the music pairing. So yeah, that's that for the uh, for the ex bourbon soloist. Fantastic stuff. I really really enjoy that. I'm sad it's gone. And if I find it for a decent price, I'm gonna gobble that shit up. So, and I recommend you do the same. It's it's quite tasty. Any soulist, man. Soulists are just fire right now. They're so, so good. So, but you're paying for it. You're paying for it. Anyways, all right. So, as mentioned before, Fino Sherry, Oloroso Sherry, Brandy, next. What do you want to see? What do you want to see me drink? And we can talk about that. So, let me know. Like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.